perception and perspective, just like you said, add two words that oftentimes get used interchangeably. Yeah. Yeah. People, people don't stop to think about the difference between these two words. Um, but just like we talked about situational awareness and self-awareness and the distinction between them, the same thing exists with perception and perspective. Perception is about how you view the world around you. Mm -hmm. So where you sit and you look out on your bedroom and you look out from your front window of your house or you look, uh, you look behind the driver's wheel of a car, that's your perception of the world. You see a sunny day and you believe that a sunny day is a good day. And you look at the car in front of you and it looks like it's only moving, it's moving at the same speed, right? It looks like there's, that the car is not moving at all because the distance between you and the car in front of you isn't increasing or decreasing. So that's your perception, that's your perception of the world. Okay. Perspective is when you step out of your own shoes and sit in somebody else's shoes and look at the world from their point of view. Mm. So when you step out of your shoes and pretend that you are the FedEx delivery guy for the day, yep. what does that FedEx guy's day look like? Because from you, from you sitting inside your house, you see the FedEx guy arrive, drop off a box, get back in the car and leave. That's it, that's it. That's the only, that's the only time he crosses paths with you in your day. So you don't even think about him. You just mm. think about whether your package got delivered. But in reality, that man or woman came from somewhere, is going somewhere next. You don't know if they couldn't find your box, if they dropped your box, if your box has been like under a stack of other boxes that were heavier, but that person knows all that. So what ends up happening is you gain an advantage over everybody around you when you stop thinking about your perception and start thinking about their perspective because you're getting more informational data points about the situation this yep. the current reality. Whereas the person who's trapped in their own perception, who's literally just sitting there thinking, when am I going to get out of this meeting? What's my next cup of coffee? Who's pinging me on my phone? That person is so trapped in their own world that they're losing all of the data, all of the information around them. It's just like you talked about the person who can't read the room, Ed. The yep. person who can't read the room is the person trapped in their perception. Yep.